Because proteins and nucleic acids are large molecules with many charged chemical groups, each molecule has a different specific net charge. This characteristic can be used to separate them. The apparatus used to do this is made of sheets of plastic or glass with a space in the middle. The gel matrix is cast in the space such that there are a number of wells for samples at the top. At the bottom is a reservoir for buffer and a positive electrode. At the top is another reservoir and a negative electrode. Samples for analysis are added to the wells at the top. Usually, one of these is a mixture of molecules of known size called standards, against which the unknown samples can be compared. Sample molecules which are negatively charged move toward the positive electrode at the bottom. Those which are the most negative move the fastest, and thus separate from the others. In reality, you can't see the samples as they move through the gel. When the electrophoresis is complete, the gel is stained to reveal the proteins.